Damn, what's going on, Stamp Holders? Check out that, all right? I want you to tell me, who do you think is responsible for this occurring, all right? Do you think it's the biker's fault or the truck driver's fault? For me, personally, I'm always going to blame the truck driver. Look at it, all right? This guy probably coming down the road. The truck driver has got to see him from the right. So, in my opinion, as a truck driver, you got to stop completely until you're sure everything is clear. But there was a miscommunication right here because I think when you're driving or whenever you're just moving, moving on the road, it's a communication game. And if you're not sure what you're going to do, you just stop. Now, this driver looked like he was sure because he ran his ass over, okay? It looked like he put some some, some diesel on his ass, all right? You know what I'm saying? He, he, he got a little, little extra push when he hit him, all right? Now, I don't know, you know, if this guy got injured, but it seems as if he's fine, he's alive, but it sucks that this happened to him. But I blame the truck driver, but who do you blame? Now, as a person, I feel as if, yeah, I blame the truck driver. I don't even blame the biker. The biker was just doing what he was doing, and um, he should have had it right away, in my opinion. But what do you guys think? And this could have been a worse situation. Imagine if that truck actually ran over him. Like, it would have been over. All right? So I'm happy that it, it happened like this. But this is horrible. This truck driver should be, I don't want to say he should lose his license, but what, what kind of consequences should he receive for doing something like this because that's that's reckless he shouldn't he didn't have to do that that's reckless but you gotta let me know what you think in the comment section peace